So I'm going to spend about a minute going over just the stuff you need to know to get start playing, get started playing right now, and then um, after that I'll go over more of the details and some other different features that are on the site. So when you first go to tenho.net, this is what you'll see, and then you can click the play button or click this button, which is open in this window, and then you click the blue button on the left, which is connecting to the Flash server. Then you type in the name you want to use. This is boy or girl, and the top is boy. And then you press OK to start playing. But if you want to register your ID, which lets you like save stats and get a rank and save your rating and all of that, um, you type in your name and then you click this button. And you might run into an error if the name you've typed in is already in use, but otherwise you just press yes and then you should see a picture that looks like this and there will be a box that has your ID in it and you'll want to save that ID so that you can access your account again later and then you would, you would copy the ID you get and then just paste it in this box and press OK and then you'll start um, you'll see this screen these are all the rooms and the most common room to play in is one of these two, or this one's the most popular. Um, the number here is how many people are playing that mode, and then the number on the left is how many people are waiting to play. So if you just want to start playing, you can click one of these buttons to wait to play in that room. And there are different game types and different game links, and I'll talk about what they are later, though. And now another way to just start playing right now is like, after you click the button, you can click this, which says Test Play. And then the top one is a fast game, and the next one down is a normal speed game. But it's just playing against computers. And then you can press it and then just practice like using the site and um, discarding tiles and all of that, and just playing a game against computers that don't do anything. And so that's if you just want to get started playing like right now. Now for the actual room types, on the left you have east wind only, on the right is east south wind matches. So it's like twice as long as the one on the left. Then at the top you have um, no open Tanyao. Tanyao is the hand where you don't have any ones or nines or honor tiles in your hand. So in the top room you can't call and win with that Yaku. In the next one down you do have open Tanya. In the third room you have open Tanya and then also red fives. So there's one red five in each suit. Then the fourth room is open Tanya with red fives but it's fast. So the normal speed rooms give you 10 seconds to make a, de a decision plus five bonus sections bonus seconds that don't refill until the round ends. And then the fast rooms give you five seconds every turn only, and then only three extra seconds that don't refill. Then the bottom two are three player mahjong. The, this one is open Tanya with red fives. The bottom one is the same rule, but fast rules again. So, this is all on the first tab, which is rank matches, and the first tab under that is the general room, which is the lowest room. Then, if you um, save your ID and you get your rank, if you rank up high enough, you can play in the next level room, which is Joe Q. And then, if you rank up even higher, you can play in the next level room, which is Toku Joe. And then finally, the top level room is ho -Oh. So that's what these tabs are. Then, this middle tab here is um, the games that you can spectate. So if you click on a player's name, then you'll be seated behind them. And uh, you'll see everyone's tiles, but you'll be seated behind the player you click on. And then you can see what everyone's discarding and how the game's going. This is your match history. So there would be a button if I had played a match on this account, 
it would show like what place I got, who I played against, and there would be a button to look at the tiles I drew and discarded, and the tiles other people had in their hand. This is for some special matches, I'm not exactly sure, but I've never used it. And the last tab is a help tab. And then you'll find some stats on the right, like um, how often you get each place, and then down here are the monthly stats based on your room and your your room level and your game type. So like which one of these you play in. So that's all I have to say for this screen right now. Now if you go back to the main site, there's some other things you can find on it, like here's a manual tab. Now you're probably not gonna read wanna read the manual because it's all in Japanese, but there's one thing that is pretty useful to look at, and that's the ranking system here. So this chart sh shows um, how the ranking system works. On the left, you have the rank. So it goes from new player to 9Q, 1Q, 1st Don, 10th Don, and then Tenho rank. And then the next column is saying how much points you start with when you're when you're that rank. So if, if I'm sixth on, I start with 1,200 points, but I need 2,400 points to rank up. And then if this box has a symbol in it, that means you can rank down when you're that rank. So if you if your points go below zero, then you drop to the lower rank. And rank down starts from first dawn. Now in the middle it shows how much points you get based on what place you get. So if you get first in the Joe Q room in East Wind matches you get 40 points. And if you get second in the Toku Joe room in East South matches you get 30. But if you lose in any room and you're sixth on you lose 120 points. So that's how the, ra the ranking system works. Then the last two columns just say how many people have that rank currently and what their average rating is. And then there's a similar chart for three-player Mahjong. So under the manual tab, that's probably the only real useful thing. There's also a rating, though. like. This is the R rating, so like skill rating, and this explains the formula, but I'm not going to talk about how that works right now. Now there's also um, a spectate tab, which is here, and then you can choose the game type, so 4 or 3 player Mahjong, and East or South Wind matches, and the room level. So if you just want to see Ho -Oh, South Wind matches that are four player Mahjong, you can check those boxes only and then click on someone that you want to watch. Like this person's 10th on, this person's 10th on too. So those are the players that are like really strong and you might want to watch those players. Now there's a ranking tab and this table shows is another place where you can see the number of people that have each rank. So currently there's three thousand a little more than three thousand people who have six Don rank and the average rating is nineteen eighty nine. Then these are all the people who have made ten ho rank on the site. And this is four player mahjong, this is three player mahjong. Then this is um, a lot of different stats based on rank. So you can look at a certain rank, like 4th Don, and then see for 4th Don players, they tend to get first place 26.4% of the time. And so that's 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th place rate. This is how often you go negative. This is how often you win. This is how often you play into a hand. This is how often you, you make a call during the round, and this is how often you declare a reach, this is how many matches you played, and this is number of people. 
and this one is points that you've earned while playing. Now something else that's interesting on the ranking tab is if you click like monthly ranking you can see stats based on um, room level, um, game length, and then room or the role you're, you're playing. So this is the role I play and then if you've played enough matches you can go to the one you play and then find your name and see like how well you're doing compared to other people. And then the stats it shows you first are, this is like sum of places of the other ones. So you want the lowest sum of places. Like if you were first in everything, you'd be four. And that you'd have a sum of four. This is your total acquired points over the month. This is your average acquired points per match. This is a score based on your place. How how, um, like if you get first, you get 30. If you get second, you get 10. If you get third, you get minus 10. And if you get fourth, you get minus 30. So it's the sum of that. Then this is your average place for the month and the number of games you've played this month. Then you can also find another set of statistics here, which shows your first place rate. So someone's won. Someone's gotten first 54% of the time in 30, over 31 matches this month, and that's the highest first place rate in this mode. Then there's top two rate, and then last place rate. And last place rate is the one I'm doing good on, so I'll show that one. <laughs> but I'm 27th in last place rate this month, over 30 games. Then you can find some Yaku statistics, which, is, which are here. And again, you can sort by room level and then game type. So in the rooms I play in, Red Dora is the most common Yaku, and it's in 42% of the hands, apparently. And then Tenho has been won at least once. It's been won 0.00025 percent of the time this someone's won um, Kokushi Muso, some other Yakuman hands <laughs> and then you you can just see like how common each Yaku is and another interesting you can find is this which is Yakuman hands that have been won recently so you click it and then if you've won a Yakuman hand recently you could find it here as well and then you could just look and see, like, this is Kokushi Muso with the 13 sided weight. And this is the hand. I guess you know what the hand is if that's what. <laughs> but this is um, Tsui So uh, Shou Sushi. And then you can see the hand. And if you click this, you can see how they actually won the hand in their match. So let's see how this player got through her hand. <laughs> boom, boom. Well, this is also a high level room. Like, this player was fifth done. A lot of them are really low level rooms where people are just going for Yakuman every, hands, uh, every hand and then they happen to win one sometimes. But, wow. <laughs> That's a way to take first. <laughs> but yeah, you can see like all the different Yakuman hands people have won here. Then, um, a couple other things are you can um, do this hand logic thing, which tells you um, how many ti what tiles will improve your hand based on what you discard. So for example, these hands are in 10 pi, and in this hand, if I discard the 8, then I can win with a 1 or a 9. And if I discard the 9, I can win with a 7. So you can see like what tiles to discard. 
um, to give yourself the best chance to draw a useful tile on the next turn. And then you can type in your own hand as well. So like M is for character tiles, P is for pin tiles or circle tiles, and then um, S is for cell or bamboo tiles, and then Z is for honor tiles. And if you put in a zero, it's a red five tile. So in this hand, if I discard the one of bamboo, then all of these tiles would get me closer to ten pi, and if I, and so on. Then there's also in uh, private rooms. So if you click that button and then click this, it'll let you create your own private room. And the way I think it works is it gives you a number. I haven't actually used it myself, so I don't know, but it gives you a number. It, and then I think you go to the, um, to play, and after you log in, then you type in the number. <coughs> I think you type in, like, question mark and then the number. And then that'll take you to the room. Now, um, one other thing is there's a Windows version, which has some nice features, but you have to pay for it. Now, some of the things on the Windows version are you can change some settings, like you can change how it looks and the background image. I don't really use the background image one, so I don't know much about how that works. But then you can change sound effects. So, like, um, this option is to set sound effects based on the player's seat, and it also has an option based on the, pl the player's gender. So, if the first one would be Chi for... A g for your player, if your player is a guy, and then you put the file you want, and then this is like chi for the player to your right, if that player is a guy, and so on and so forth. Next is like chi for a, um, a female player, then con, then pom, then reach, and roam, and sumo and then some other sound effects. You can also set background music for all the situations, like this is the general lobby background music, tournament lobbies, this is the east wind of a match, this is south wind of a match, then all last, sudden death, when someone declares reach, then when a second person declares reach, if you want to change the music, and um, the end of a match. And there's some other things, like this is when you right-click, you discard the tile you drew. This is when you right-click, you pass on a call. This one's left-click twice to discard the tile you drew, or left-click twi left -click, click twice to pass on a call top one um, is to hide IDs and it's meant to be used for streaming I guess or broadcasting and um, the second one is in the chat window display your um, oh it's like always display the chat window or something like that <laughs> So that's some of the features on the Windows version. Like this. And then on the account, it shows like your stats. So I'm sixth on. This is my rank points. This is how much I need to rank up. This is my rating, um, place percentages, and all of, <coughs> all of those stats. 
and then my monthly stats in the room I play. Also on the Windows version, when you look at a replay, you can you have the option to show the tiles that are in the wall. So if you want to see like where you're actually going to draw a winning hand, you can look at the next tiles in the, in the wall. Or if you want to see if you're going to get Uradora, you can see that. And now, when you actually, if you actually want to pay for to use the Windows version, when you put in your ID, like you download it and put in your ID, if you if your account isn't a paid account, then you it'll have a link that you click on. But another way to get to that same link is if you use the other the web client. There's this button. <laughs> then um, this is agreeing to the terms and then you can choose your method of payment and th the amount of time so for example this is paying by credit card for 30 days it costs 540 yen and this is paying by PayPal for 30 days it costs 540 yen and then you would click it and go through and then it should be pretty simple so I think that's all I have to talk about in this video and then if you have any other questions you can just post them in the comment and I'll try to answer them